Okay, I just had a brilliant conversation with a couple of chaps. And this, incidentally, is for Munson's mailbag, my bulging sack of inquiries. Uh, Mike, thank you, in Florida, asking about San Martino de Porto, which is where we are today, as you can see, our beloved bay here. And then over on the other side, Salir de Porto, that huge sand dune over there, I'm told the second biggest in Europe, that is Salir de Porto. So we have this beautiful bay, um, the scalloped bay of San Martino de Porto. On this side, San Martino de Porto. On the other side, Salir de Porto, SMDP and SDP. And Mike's asking questions like, you know, is Salir de Porto so quiet in the winter that it's like a ghost town? Is San Martino de Porto so noisy and touristy that you wouldn't want to live here in the summer? Now, my, well, I'm a bit biased because I live in San Martino de Porto on the outskirts, on the road out to Nazare. I love being able to walk into town, cycle into town or drive into town as I did today. Even on a July day like today where people are enjoying the beach, you can still park around here. Although parking meters have just been installed. But really, this is much more touristy. Um, from the conversation you'll hear after this, it's got the tourist turbocharge on it. So if you're looking over at Sal Salir de Porto, you're looking at a Portuguese village, basically, where life goes on all year round. There is a cafe and a restaurant in the centre of town. There's a small shop. There's a swimming pool. There's a lot of nice amenities that you might expect from a, a small Portuguese village. Then they have their festa. Last weekend, they had their sardine festa. And at other times of the year, there are other celebrations that go on. But it is much quieter and therefore quite a useful place to be if you want to come over as Guido, as you're here, um, is delighted to live in a quieter place and then come and enjoy all the wonderful bars and restaurants and nightlife that San Martino has to offer. <laughs> or, as Don says, you can live here and be part of all the fun. San Martino de Porto, with its railway station, with its allegedly much better chicken shop as well, and lots of other amenities. Uh, we've got a full-on tourist centre here with the wonderful elevator that goes up to the old town. You see, we've got an old town and we've got the bay. There's a lot more to San Martino de Porto. So I can't, although the, the tile says San Martino de Porto versus Salir de Porto, they're different. It really is a matter of choosing what sort of lifestyle you want, essentially. Do you want to live somewhere quiet and have access to this beautiful bay? Or do you want to be in the, the, the heart of the, the hubbub uh, for most of the year? Most intensely next month in August, this is going to go crazy. You, you won't be able to park here. You'll, you'll struggle to find space on the beach during August. And that really is San Martino de Porto, a lovely busy place, especially in August and for the rest of the year. And a little bit more going on, catch the train to Caldas de Reina, catch the train the other direction up to Leria. It's a town. Salir de Porto, with its magnificent dune that you can run up and down if you're fit, is a village. So that's it, really. The essential difference, San Martino de Porto, small town, Salir de Porto, village, and whichever you choose, basically. You're going to get access to both, and they're joined together by the most beautiful boardwalk, which stretches across the River Alcoa, I think it's called, I think from where Alcobasa gets its name, where the river meets the sea. Great places to swim over there. Great place to swim here, obviously. Very safe compared to a lot of the rest of the Atlantic. That's another thing. Before I finish, I want to say that, as you can see here, this, this beach, I think, is a little bit more... I don't know if upmarket's the right word. It is a bit posher. When you go over to Salir de Porto, people set up, like, little camps and... Like a, um, I don't know if you're allowed to barbecue there, but they set up like a little space to be for the whole day. And, and, and I think people who are coming here have come probably from a longer distance and maybe have childhood memories. And I think over in Salir de Porto, it's more local people who don't care about all the bars and restaurants. They bring all their own food with them and it's a bit more picnicky. and the family create a little camp for the day and then they can run into the river or run into the sea. So there's a slightly different vibe around that as well. But both absolutely fabulous places, which I urge you to come and visit and enjoy. Mike, I hope that helps.
as the fish. The neighbors told me that they're not the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Delving into Munson's mailbag and the question that's come from Mike asking me to compare and contrast San Martino de Porto and Salir de Porto or SMDP and SDP as we can shorten that to. And you just heard Don saying it's got the fish. Salir has fish. Martino had, has, uh, has the bars. Um, and the nightlife, and the nightlife, yeah, uh, and the, the dancing bay. girls. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> where, where are they? And we have the the, the Irish bar, uh, the Welsh bar. Welsh bar. Okay, Welsh so you've got bar. the Welsh bar as well. Okay. <laughs> Gesundheit. <laughs> so that's Don speaking up for San Martino de Porto for SDP Guido. I totally agree with Don. <laughs> But, oh, but, 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 there's a but to it. It's 15 minutes away yeah. Yeah, from San Martino, and it's much quieter. Yes. So you can have all the fun within 15 minutes walk, Yeah. and not the nightlife that's really loud. You yeah. enjoy the quiet time, yeah, and everything else that Don said is correct. Yeah. Okay. So, well, there's a complaint. That was a complaint from a San Martino, a, a, um, a San Martian, we could call them, um, who we can hear your music, but we, but you don't get to hear ours, you're saying. It's quiet over there. It's very quiet over there, yes. Right. yeah. Okay. Which some people prefer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're Anybody old and past it. <laughs> are you are you old and past it? No, I'm old but not past okay. it. <laughs> so no, I don't know. <laughs> Don's been heckled. With Salia de Porto, and some some people think it might be a bit too quiet. You, there, there are what a couple of cafes, well, restaurants. The, the, there are a couple, yes, two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Literally. <laughs> so but again, fifteen minute walk and you're here. But you've got there's a cafe and a restaurant in town, then you've got in the in the bay there, oh, okay. your maybe, own maybe bay. Maybe the well, well, there's some on the way between, right? And a nice maybe, new uh, Shurasquera chicken shop as well. Yeah, you, so so we have, have maybe three. Let's yeah. call it three. Not a couple. Yeah. Yeah, Go yeah, from two to three. Okay. okay. <laughs> you do I have to that. Okay. La Polarino. <laughs> They've got one over there. They've got a, 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 Not a, as good as the one here. Okay, so the real battle is between the chicken shops. The real issue is there's no Welsh shop. There is no Welsh bar in um, yeah, in Salio de Porto, to be fair. True. Is there a German shop? Salio is more like a traditional uh, Portuguese village. Yes. In that there's lots of people, a couple of cafes, and it's very quiet. Yes. Martinho has everything going. It's got the, it's got the tourist turbocharge, yes. hasn't it? Yes. The tourist turbocharge. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Muito obrigado.